to another episode of Glasgow Diaries. I'm finally back. It's been months and months. Let's see, early May to... June, July, August to... Wait, pause. Early May, maybe June, July, August, September. It's been four full months since last I've been in Glasgow and I'm finally back and I'm in my new flat. I've never actually showed you guys the flat before, but I already started unpacking certain things. I was literally up for the past 14 hours going from plane to plane and because my plane ride from the States was at 5 p.m., I wasn't able to get sleep and when I landed, it was technically around 2 a.m. for me, but already early in the morning in London and then I had to switch from a plane from London here to Glasgow and I got here. I took a four hour nap, but I forced myself to get up so that I wouldn't be entirely, entirely jet lagged. I probably still will be later, but that's a problem for later. I have things sprawled about and I am going to pretty much dedicate this video to decorating and setting up my room and my flat and giving you guys a little tour of my place. I'm about to go out shopping in town with my friend Zoe. I haven't seen her in so long just to get certain things that I didn't have last year. For example, my duvet was from my dorm, my trash bin, my two extra pillows, an extra lamp from my dorm. So just things like that that I need to restock on and then I'll probably do some, you know, shopping for toilet paper and groceries and things like that. Oh my God, also, I'll probably have to do some shopping for spray, for like spider spray. If you've seen my cleaning video, you know I'm terrified of spiders. This side of my amazing, awesome window has a bunch of spiders on it. So I'm gonna have to like really be brave while I'm cleaning it out. And that's why it's closed. Also, I love these curtains. Red's my favorite color and I think it's perfect for autumn. So I'm gonna try to get a comforter that matches. That's the goal. So yeah, I'll give you guys a little rundown on how the place is looking so far. I just turned on the light for this, but here's a little rundown. You walk in, I have my suitcase and my backpack and my little suitcase, all of which I brought from the States just now. My other suitcase, a bunch of boxes I've left. All the furniture was already given, including the curtains as well. Some more boxes and an empty little bookshelf. The window, very messy bed, which I did just take a four hour nap on. And I have two desks, one for getting ready and one for studying. I do have to buy a chair though. I could go back and forth this chair, but I think I might just get a new one. Of course, the ceiling. It's so pretty. I just shut off the light for it so I could focus better, but look at that. Oh, I love it. I love it. So anyway, I'm gonna hit the town and then I'll come back. I don't even know if I'll actually get started fully on my room until tomorrow. Anyway, I'm gonna go hit the shops. Good morning guys. I'm only half awake right now. I just woke up. I'm having my little cup of coffee. I already set up my lamp. I probably won't do most of my cleaning until later today because I'm gonna get lunch with my friend Zoe again. Oh my god, yesterday when she came by, she killed all my spiders for me. Now that's a real friend right there. Anyway, I'm going to start to tidy up. I'm thinking tidying up my makeup first and then I can get ready. And if I have time, also tidy up other things around the room, including my sweaters. I'm thinking about hanging up but yeah that's a little update again i sound half dead because i just woke up so yeah out of the way today. So I'm wearing my comfy because I'm freezing. I can't figure out how the heater works yet, so I'm gonna have to work on that. But anyway, I'm gonna continue working in the closet and then try to move around boxes and other things here. life update still the same day i finally cleared off one suitcase and it's currently in my closet so i have a little bit more store space the goal of the day is to get everything in order and remove all the boxes and i've been watching gilmore girls i also thought i would just do like an update in general on how things have been doing it's been pretty good pretty good i've been hanging out with my friends sorry i'm like solo down let me um the word killer. i feel like i've been having to relearn a bunch of words like scottish terms and words that are different for example garbage you say 
they've been. What else? There's jumper for sweater. I'm like totally blanking on all of them now. Anyway, I'm gonna stop yapping and get back to it. Process, including cleaning up what I needed to put in the kitchen and then clearing out my kitchen boxes from this room I'll show you the kitchen later, but anyway, I thought I would show you the new sweatshirt I got from Primark What do you guys think? I'm a big Spongebob fan. I don't know if you guys know this about me, but yeah Also, I'm already on episode 10 of season 1 of Gilmore Girls and I started the show yesterday But it's not like I'm sitting and just watching I have been just in my room the last five hours because I'm cleaning everything and this huge entire mess but that I would add that little side note. Chloe and Zoe finally saw Chloe after so many months. We literally just went into town. We had wings and oh my god They tried a bunch of American candies. Let me show you. Sorry My bed is like a total wreck now and I still have to put my duvet cover and that just came in actually today And I also bought a new hair dryer because I literally went all of last semester and the semester before without a hair dryer Anyway, that's off topic the candies that they tried gushers peeps They really wanted to try peeps and actually really liked it and I was surprised I feel like they're so incredibly mid but that's just me Twizzlers again, not one of my favorite Faves. Milk Duds, love them. Candy Corn, one of my favorites. And Chloe really liked it, which I was surprised because I know a lot of Americans don't like them anyway. And Zoe didn't like them that much, but I think they're one of my faves. And then afterwards, me and Zoe walked around and we tried to look up where all of our classes for the 23rd are going to be because we were like, imagine it's the first day of class and we're late to literally everything because we don't know where everything is. Because the campus is really big, actually. There's so many buildings and so many different rooms and a lot of the new buildings that I have for my classes. I had never been in, never even heard of them, so we did a little walk around, and then we went out to this Italian place called Little Italy, and it was really good. Just thought I'd give you guys a little life update, maybe put this in as a voice over so that you guys don't get totally, totally bored of me just sitting cleaning the room for hours on end. Also, side note, while we were at the restaurant, I said, can I get an ice water? And I've never been more conscious of my American accent because the waiter looked at me funny, and he was like, are you American? And I was like, yeah. He was like, what state are you from? And I was like, New Jersey. And then he was like, I was in New Jersey last month. And all I could think was, why out of every state would you come to New Jersey? No offense. Love, love my little town and New Jersey. No hate at all. But I was like, that is the most random ass place you could ever go to. I'm gonna try to wake up early and be very productive tomorrow. But yeah, I'll check in with you guys then. Oh, it's still the same day. I just showered. I thought to give you a little tour of the place. As I walk out of my door, we'll reach the cupboards. And we got a little living space, two couches, some tables, a little drying rack, our washing machine. And finally, here's our little kitchen. It's really cute. Here's some of the cabinets. Here's where I keep my mugs, glass, bowls, and containers. Here's a little stove, kettle, and my mini little French press, which I used to make coffee in the morning. She's in my bed right now. spent the entire morning running around looking for jobs and I updated my resume or they call it CV here. I don't really know why. I've never actually heard of that before. I'm gonna just finally work on the windows, wipe it down, maybe put up some fairy lights. I'm still debating where I want to put them and then finally finish this room up.
actually haven't done a life update. I know this is all the same video, but to me, I'm like, oh my god, since the last time I filmed, it was like so long ago. Minus doing my chair. I actually just ordered and made today, but I feel like it's been so long since my last life update, so I thought I would tell you a little bit about how life's going. It's currently October already. I know I started this video like early September, but in between then, I went to Switzerland and back with my parents. I will be posting that video in the future, so I'm not going to say so much about that. It was actually so fun. Definitely stay tuned for that video. I'm debating releasing that later, and then I can get some uni ones in because I know a lot of you guys really just prefer me posting about uni. But anyway, started classes last week. It was so good. I mean, two weeks ago, actually, but I only started doing seminars this past week, and I'm already starting to write one of my essays, which is terrifying because in a couple weeks, my cousins are visiting, and then I'm going to Dublin with my friend Zoe, and obviously very exciting. Lots of amazing things happening all at once, so I'm like, I gotta really be on top of my game for uni and just try to get one of my essays done, but I'll tell you guys more about that for next week's vlog. I've been going to the gym, just got back actually, been cooking again. Oh my god, some of you guys recognize me. I went out to Hive. Hive is pretty much like the club hangout spot at the uni, and at least like three or four of you guys recognized me, and I was like, I just wanted to say I'm so grateful for you guys. It's actually so fun meeting you. I feel like I get so awkward because I never actually know how to respond. I just wanted to say thank you so much for the support. Oh yeah, my parents also visited me after Switzerland and they stayed for a bit here in Glasgow. Every day after school during the first week, I would hang out with them and we went to Edinburgh, Linlithgow. We went to Inverness for literally a day, the first train in and the first train back. I saw Loch Ness for the first time. I got to see Urquhart Castle and just so many things and now I'm back in the groove of things which is also pretty good. I've had so many things going on in my life for the past month and will continue to have so many things going on. Oh my god so off topic but when my cousins come here we're gonna go up to Inverness again and actually ride the Hogwarts train and I am dying to see that because if you guys know me at all you know that I love Harry Potter. Anyway I think we need to do some more seminar reading. Maybe edit and I'll actually do a full-on tour of the room. I'm finally done with my room and I'm gonna wrap up this little video with a tour of my new space and obviously you've already seen pretty much everything so I'll just do a little quick rundown of everything. Here's the room when you first walk in. This is where I get ready. I have a bunch of pictures, obviously fairy lights, fake vines, makeup, hair products, moisturizers, and on this side I have a bunch of toiletries, and then on this side I have some other pictures and just things that I didn't really know anywhere else to put. Then of course we have my bed. I also put some fake vines and fairy lights around here as well. Let me turn them on. Oh, I'm like totally walking around the wrong side. What do we The egg? I'm like obsessed with the duvet cover that I got and obviously gotta have the pumpkins. It's October guys. Come on. Come on. Who do you think I am? Also, can I just say I love the wood and all the pieces of furniture that actually came with the apartment. I love. Here we got my little dresser. Keep all my clothes here. Then I have my little nightstand. Also have a bunch of clothes here. Some books I'm currently reading in my journal. And yeah, it's where I charge everything as well. Then of course we got my little study space. The new chair I got. Just some notebooks, some music, my laptop. Oh my god guys wait how do you like my new laptop stickers i just got them and the point of getting them was so that they'd be good conversation starters and classes and seminars and to make a bunch of friends but no one's made any comments on it and i'm just like come on like these are good stickers we got robert pattinson we got some spongebob some renaissance and medieval art we got some lord of the rings and harry potter impressionist like come on it's been pretty unsuccessful but nevertheless i still love them my writing utensils also just got this little pen holder or in this case, my highlighter holder, which is a dragon, and I think it's sick. But then for, actually, no, I was gonna say for my favorite part, I'm gonna say my second favorite part of my room, my bookshelf. Let me give you a little tour. On the bottom here, I keep some bags, some books, obviously Squidward, more pumpkins, more books, I keep my jewelry here, more books and prints, Gandalf, and some other just random pieces of decorations. 
But now for my actually favorite part of this entire room, the windows. I know I've already talked about the windows and the curtains and how lucky I was that it's actually red curtains and my favorite color is red. And last year when I was stuck in Murano, the whole one wall was blue and it just threw me off completely. And I had to like cover up the walls with a bunch of prints to just make myself not go crazy every time I stepped into my room. But here we have the windows. Actually so pretty. They're so big. I've never had such big windows before. I also taped some more prints on the top part of them and yeah like I said before another really awesome part of this room is the ceiling sorry it keeps going in and out of focus guys I didn't even show you the walk-in closet yet obviously you've already seen it because I've been filming it but how do I have a walk-in closet never in my life would I have ever thought I would have owned a walk-in closet but here we are so let me show you I have some of my suitcases at the bottom, all my clothes, and all the boxes I used to store everything over the summer. Okay, here's the final look of my room. I'm actually so grateful to be living here. So cool. Anyway, thank you so much for sitting and watching this video. Hopefully it was at least mildly entertaining. But yeah, like I said before, I'll probably post a back to uni vlog soon. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you next time.